Welcome to Academic Guru's Tutoring Tuesday, where we answer all of your high school, college, and university questions. If you would like your question to be featured on next week's Tutoring Tuesday, please submit your questions to questions at academicgurusinc.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay current with all of our new videos. Today I'll be solving a physics question that was posed by Al Cathcart. And the question reads, an Olympic sprinter can go from a state of rest to 11 meters per second in 10 seconds. What is the average acceleration of the sprinter? And we've been given various acceleration options to choose from. And as always, I'll be breaking down the question into steps, with the first step being to understand the question. Now the first part of the question tells us that the sprinter can go from a state of rest to 11 meters per second. So in this case, we know that we're dealing with velocity. Now velocity is simply the distance that an object is traveling within a given direction over time. When an Olympic sprinter is in a state of rest, we know that the distance that the sprinter is traveling is zero because he or she is not moving, regardless of the time that has elapsed. In the case of 11 meters per second, it tells us that for every second that passes by, the Olympic sprinter would have traveled 11 meters. Now that we understand velocity, we can go on to try and understand acceleration or in this case the average acceleration which is what the question is actually asking us to find. The average acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. That is, we're measuring the difference between the final velocity and the initial velocity. This is divided by the final time or the end time minus the initial time or the start time. Another way of writing this is, is to use the delta symbol, which simply symbolizes that we're talking about the change in velocity or the change in time. Now that we understand the difference between velocity and average acceleration, we can move on to the second step and actually calculate the average acceleration. Given what we just learned, we know that the average acceleration is equal to the difference between the initial and final velocity divided by the difference between the initial and final time. The question tells us that the Olympic sprinter can go from a state of rest to 11 meters per second. So therefore, initially, at a state of rest, we know that given that velocity is the distance divided by time, at rest, the Olympic sprinter could not have been moving. Therefore, the initial velocity is going to be zero meters per second, and the Olympic sprinter goes to 11 meters per second. Therefore, our final velocity is 11 meters per second. We're also told that the Olympic sprinter does all of this within 10 seconds. That is, the time that it takes the Olympic sprinter to increase his or her speed from 0 to 11 meters per second takes 10 seconds. Therefore, the difference between the final time and the initial time is 10 seconds. Now, if we calculate this through, we find that 11 minus 0 divided by 10 is equal to 1.1. Now we have to take care of the units. We've got meters per second in the numerator and second in the denominator. So what we have here is 1.1 meters per second over second. Another way of writing this is 1.1 meters per second squared. Because a second multiplied by a second in the denominator is simply the second to the second power, or s squared, second squared. So there you are, all carth card. It appears c is the correct answer. 
Thank you for tuning into our Tutoring Tuesday channel. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. Until next week's Tutoring Tuesday, happy studying.